I've said it before, I'll say it again. There is always great music on tap at Vernon's Jazz Club in Los Ranchos. And this guy over here, he's the artistic director, and we love him. He's our friend, Tommy Thank Gearhart. Thanks for being with us as usual. We love having you. Yeah, happy to be here, swinging into spring. So. Swinging into spring. And today you've brought along somebody very special, Stu McCaskey. He is a pianist and organist, and he is just returning to New Mexico after a year in Malaysia. What was that like for you? First of all, welcome. Thank you very much. My pleasure to be here. Our pleasure to have you. So, uh, Malaysia. My wife's family is, my wife is Malaysian. Her family is still there. Okay. And uh, we spent a year there with the, our primary goal to, to be close to her folks who are in their 80s. So mm -hmm. we, could, we could take them out for lunch. We took them on some trips. We took them to the beach. <laughs> uh, very interesting year. That's a big move. Oh, sure I is. Mean, moving is always a, a major event, but but going to this different culture and uh, very interesting, very exciting, um, very challenging in many respects. The culture is so different. Mm, well, how did that change with your career? Because, I mean, first of all, tell people a little bit about your background. Well, uh, I am a pianist through and through. That's all mm. I've ever done in my life. And uh, uh, I have a degree in jazz studies, for whatever that's worth. <laughs> and, uh, that's worth a lot. Uh, I began to work when I was in high school and uh, uh, spent uh, many years living in New York City. I spent mm -hmm. a year and a half on the road. I toured all over the country. I toured Europe. Wow. Um, uh, Wait, you, you've, toured, you've done so much, I mean, from New York to in Michigan, correct? I grew up in Michigan. Yes, yeah. and so now what, 14 years ago you moved to New Mexico, what brought you yeah. here initially? I was following my Malaysian wife, naturally. Ah, see, <laughs> she's a lucky, see, that's what a woman wants to know, is that her man will follow her wherever uh, she goes. <laughs> yeah, we, we met in New York City and she, she had, uh, had a family reason to come to New Mexico and, and uh, we lived apart for about eight months and wow. my phone bills got to the point where I was like, yeah, let me go. Exactly. Check out New Mexico. So. And you got, well, land of entrapment. That's right. Land <laughs> yeah, of that's entrapment. True. But you know, you worked in the New, you said New York City, and I want to talk about that because huge jazz scene, Tommy, in New York City. That's right. So <laughs> I want to know what, the, what it was like for you to be in the New York jazz scene. Well, uh, very exciting. You know, New York is the center of so many things sure. the financial world, the, the political world, uh, theater, mm -hmm. medicine. It's such a great place to be. There's, there's so much quality and good people in every avenue of endeavor. Mm -hmm. And it's the center of the jazz universe and has been for 80 years. And uh, it was, you know, that's a dream come true to, to I played with some of the best musicians on, in the world and, and, and got to spend time with my, uh, some of my heroes and mentors. Anyone and, in particular? Oh, man. I don't know. Mulgrew Miller is a great pianist, a great jazz pianist, and I got to I got to go hear Mulgrew every week oh, wow. for a while. He had a, a steady gig at a restaurant, and you know you, you can't do that anywhere in the world, really, no. except New York City. That's amazing. That yeah. is amazing. Well, and, and that's what I say. I mean, Stu Stu's a very modest guy as well, and he, he's a, a seasoned musician who lives out here, who takes a lot of the younger musicians mm -hmm. under his wing. He does the only weekly uh, jam session over at Scallows on Tuesdays. Oh. Um, he's headed that up for years and, and, and kind of trained and passed along the knowledge he's got um, it, along to the younger musicians, of which uh, Chase Ellison, my drummer, right. started playing with Stu. Oh, that's where he started? Absolutely. Okay. And, you know, right now it's springtime, so you got not only is, you know, America's pastime is baseball, but is jazz, you know, the Friends of Santa Fe Jazz. For sure. Um, up there with Lee Burke and the Outpost Performance Space season, and of course at Vernon's. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of jazz here in the city, and this Friday, uh, one of his projects that he has kind of founded is is called Certified Organic, so they're going to be there this, this Friday at 8.30, and it's going to be exciting. It sounds very healthy. <laughs> certified organic sure. I like it I won't forget that well you know I do want to mention what you just said and kind of take off on that you do teach and yeah. I think that's got to be very rewarding for you having worked with some of your own mentors to become a mentor you know uh, teaching is very satisfying now there's pluses and minuses to everything but sure. um, over the years I've had I've had some great students and I've seen I've been doing this long enough that some of my students are now working professionals, <laughs> and I see them on the scene, I think, yeah, 
I go sort of a little bit of a proud father feeling. Uh, there, you know? I like that. Well, I know I want to mention to everybody about going to be able to see you because there's nothing like seeing the live music right in front of you and to have a, an opportunity sure. to meet you. So you can, of course, catch, you can, of course, catch Stu this weekend, as we mentioned, Certified Organic is what the name of the band is called. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that will be Friday night. That's this March 18th, 8.30 p.m. And we actually have more coming up for the rest of the weekend, don't we, Tommy? That's right. On Saturday, we have uh, our Jazz Has a Blues series we with, with the amazing vocalist, my, my all-time favorite vocalist here in New Mexico, Hillary, Hillary Smith. Smith and her group they're just swinging away Great. and singing and swinging all night and then of course on Sunday um, I do you. my show 5 and 7 30 so vernonsjazzclub.com has all the details perfect and of course you can see all the details to how you can reach Vernon's with the websites and everything included on your screen right now thank you both so much for being with us I'm looking forward to hearing you play Stu thank you very much great to be here it's great to have you it's an honor and we appreciate you being here thank as you. always Love being here. and just ahead we're talking retirement do you have any confidence in your plan the the results of a recent survey are out and they don't exactly inspire confidence in our confidence. That's next.